Hey guys, so I'm going to start digging for my pool, pond, for my pond, sorry. <laughs> uh, there are a few things that you need to consider. First of all, you need six to eight hours of sunlight. Now with me it's easy, the sun comes up on this side, goes all the way up and goes down on that side. Even in winter, it should be enough sunlight. So, second thing, don't put it away too far from uh, your seating area. Put it in a corner, uh, won't get enough sunlight, won't get enough... Uh... Ah, you, you can see it, it's not, not fun. If you do a wildlife pond with no filtration all that, that's fine. A bit of shade is good, then uh, you won't have too much uh, of um, weeds and all that growing inside of the water. Um... You, I'll put a few plants on the back side, so it creates a bit of shade for the fishes. A few spots is good. Uh, there will be a water lily in, in it as well, so it will give a, provide a bit of shade. Um, uh, when you put it in, uh, don't use... Uh, how should I say? Um, isolation. Don't put isolation in it. It's fine for a pool but it's not fine for a pond uh, because in the summer it will heat up too much and in the winter it will cool down too much as well or faster and uh, when it's digging in the earth it will keep the same temperature as the earth in winter and the earth will cool it down in the summer as well and now I've uh, done the outlines with the cord it's bigger than the pool is than the tub is actually and that's so that I can manipulate it a bit more uh, regarding to the border uh, I'm a bit stuck here in the border because of the border stone there's a uh, cement to keep it nice and straight So I'm running in a bit of trouble. I have an electricity cable going through. So I'll need to go up a bit. I might come just a bit above the border. The border here. And there's a big ass stone going a long way underneath it. And I'm not about to out dig it. So I hope I'm able to break it in two without damaging the cable. Let's try.
canoe. Got it all by hand. They didn't need to cut it. See, there's even rebarb between it. Man. Whew. Glad that came out. But now I have a quite a big hole over there. Need to fill that up. I'm going to backfill up those sides all the way around but this side not this side because uh, I'll pass all my tubings through here to make a small waterfall over there uh, Not all the way to the top, I left a bit over because when I will fill up the pond it will expand a bit on the sides and uh, the, the earth might come up a bit and I also want to put in uh, root fabric like this one that I've put underneath all of it on under the sand and all and uh, once the it's in I can make, put a bit of gravel, I'll just need to make it a bit straighter and uh, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> 